Up next, it's off to Greensboro. Duke, can they make a run for the bid? They'll have to get by NC State. That is coming up next. Enjoy it. We'll see you at halftime. ESPN's presentation of Championship Week is brought to you by the U.S. Navy. You and the Navy, full speed ahead. By Honda Motorcycles, see all that's new and red hot during red hot days. And by Power Bar, low fat, highly nutritious energy. For the first time since 1988, Greensboro, North Carolina, the site of the ACC Tournament, edition number 42. And we're ready for our first round game. The Duke Blue Devils with the Wolfpack of North Carolina State. Our acting head coach, Pete Gaudet, it looks like this. Cherokee Parks leads him in scoring and rebounding. With Meek up front joining him, Price and Langdon, the two sensational freshmen, and Jeff Capel at the point. For North Carolina State and Les Robinson, this guy's been on a tear. Todd Fuller coming off a career-high game of 30 against Wake Forest with Daniels, Hyatt, McCuller, and Benjamin. The eighth and ninth seed set to have at it. Rick Hartzell, Steve Gordon, and Zelton Steed are officials. Brad Nessler and Bill Raftery with you, and we are ready. Partner. We sure are, and you may be looking at the fourth and fifth best centers, and they are very good in the ACC. Is that an incredible thing to say? And that could be very true when you talk about the likes of Wallace and Smith and Duncan. And we're underway in the ACC Journal. State, man to man. And it's Capel. Langdon left side, Trajan on the run. Well, that's helped him, I think, loosen people up. We know he can shoot that deep one. Everything revolves around, around number 5-2 in the post. Third meeting with these two teams this year, and NC State has taken the first two. Fuller faded, and so did his shot, but he got his own rebound. Good pass to the bow. What a great lead to the goal. Todd with the left hand. Meek may have altered that shot a bit, and then Eric pulls down the rebound. He occasionally will short harm that little baby hook. Cherokee Parks feeds it inside to Meek with the left hand. Strong move. Pretty good selection, too. Tough matchups for North Carolina State. Daniels is playing Parks, who can shoot that jumper. You may see Cherokee sneak inside. Good aggressive man to man. Benjamin off the dribble. And that freshman comes up short, and it's Parks to clear it. Now this time of year, you're not going to get a whole lot of fast breaks unless somebody falls totally asleep. Good balance by State. Cherokee Parks trying to go behind the back, and he got away with it. Wow, a little ricochet romance. Ping, ping, ping. <laughs> and Meeks got four, and Duke's oh. got a 6-0 lead. And who's got the red quarter? You're up next. <laughs> Benjamin kicks outside, and Daniels will leave it. Hyatt with a left hand, and Parks again the rebound. Big. Duke off to a strong start. Big concern for Duke was letting him dribble down. Oh, is that deep? Cables! That's from Norfolk. Wow. <laughs> His dad's in the NCAA. What a deep threat he has become. 9 nothing, Duke. Rotation. The turnover inside as Capel played the lane perfectly in front of Fuller to get the steal. Langdon on the run. It's 11 0 Blue Devil. And Les uh, showing a lot of confidence in his guys right now. Not calling it. Yeah, they're yeah, going for it. Well, it's early. Should get some touches for Fuller. Benjamin, nice move. And some confidence, too. That snaps the 11 0 run to start the game. I shoe up, or as he likes it, Osh. They call Benjamin. him Osh now. It's kind of altered a little bit since Mom named him Ishua. Now it's Oshua, and it's Oshbagosh who got the first basket for NC State. Daniels clears off the miss by Parks. A lot of primer, four around one, and look at the deep threat. Huh? The color rattled out of three. Parks' his third rebound. Chief early on the glass, and Duke early on the lead, 11-2. McKeister with some stamina, played all 26, that huh? started. Capel thought about another one from downtown and does go for another three. Jeff Capel buries a couple of long bombs, 14-5, Duke. 
Meek working very hard down on the box. They're going to let him play him alone. Fuller, this time, got in a little bit closer, and when he faded, he dropped it. He's one of those four-row guys. I used to get nervous around him. He coach a lot of them. And you're not talking about four points a game. You're talking about four points in the classroom almost. He had a four-row and a one-o. <laughs> Great concentration. Talented guy. Ricky Price. This time a year ago, we were watching him at a slam dunk three-point thing in the Bronx. Remember That's right. That? Now he's in the ACC tournament and, starting. And you never left my side either. No, I didn't. A little today. nervous out there. <laughs> Good hands on the D. And rightfully so. Be nervous. 15-51, and Duke runs out to an eight-point lead. Wayne Winfield and Ron Williams were two of the most heavily recruited high school kids in the country. Of course, it wasn't for their game, it was for their minds. And thanks to the Navy College Fund and the Montgomery GI Bill, they have a chance to really use them because they can earn up to $30,000 for college. So, even if the NBA isn't in their future, I guess that's game. A BA is. For more information, call 1 800 USA Navy. It came into being. And it was good. It was outrageously good. And now, it's even better. Because now, you can lease a brand new Eclipse RS for just $199 a month with $1,500 down. Or buy it with 2.9% APR financing. The Eclipse from Mitsubishi. The new thinking in automobiles. Top athletes eat power bars. Sports energy bars is fuel for optimum performance. Power bars are real food made from the finest natural ingredients and packed with nutrients in a convenient low-fat snack. Now in six great flavors. If you need energy, get power bars. Nestler and Bill Raftery at the Greensboro Coliseum. Duke out to the early lead, 16 to 4. And Coach K was at practice this week. I think it's showing up here. The what do you think? God, huh? Yeah. The impact. I mean, they were aggressive. I've seen them play some great minutes. It's occasionally they'll falter, but uh, you've got to think Mike's influence on this team is so big and uh, magnified maybe with their performance early. Cherokee Parks behind the back to Eric Meek and an 11 0 run for Duke to start things. And talking to Cherokee and Chris Collins and some of the other Blue Devils talking about Mike Shishu and his influence at practice this week and I said oh man he just lifted us completely and coach we know you're watching down at the beach somewhere and we uh, it's not quite the same without you can't uh, wait to have you back absolutely Benjamin nice move inside couldn't pay it off and it'll still be NC State ball you knew Mike was around because they needed fresh gear for the next day <laughs> that's right uh, you mentioned his contributions to college basketball a gentleman people look up to him, so get back quick. Mike was part of practice uh, a couple of times this week, had dinner with the team last night. And they have come storming out of the gates. Collins and Wojciechowski both in there now, as we mentioned. Collins, and he's on Benjamin on top. Fuller kicks it outside. It's for color. Short on the three. Hyatt cleans up. That's what he does so well. Uh, in talking to the Duke people, once in a while they'll forget to check out. They'll make little mistakes that creep in that impact on the game. That was one where they fell asleep. Meek with a good gamble and a good post pass. Fuller did not come back with the right hand. Stuck with the left. Meek kicks it right back. Wojciechowski for three. Rattled out on him and Fuller will clear it off with a pack. can go through traffic. Yeah, he sure can. And head up and Fuller. Guy that can impress from that foul area, too. Davis, who just checked in, and he's one of the excellent NC State players off the bench. That three, maybe not the greatest shot in the world, and Chris Collins will bring it up. And Meek, very solid defensively. Good check out on Fuller. Price on the baseline got too much of it. Stepped out of bounds. Duke with its first turnover. It's not easy to play post D. You got to concentrate here. He got beat a little bit. Look at the three quarter. And here, if Fuller had come back to his right, he had a little drop step to the goal. But the big thing for Duke is keep it out of the middle on a the penetration. They're afraid of that kick out three. 
16-6 Duke with 14-20 to go first half. First round action of the ACC tournament. Fuller and Meek banging inside. They're trying to pack it in there, but Meek doing a nice job defensively. A tough matchup for the, the Chief Campbell there, but he knows he's got support baseline. Hyatt just outside the three-point line. And Cherokee Parks is going to pick up the foul. Two teams that over the 41 previous ACC tournaments have 19 tournament titles between them. <laughs> it's amazing. And in the first round play-in game, the eighth and ninth seeds. Maybe one of the premier play-in games no that about. I can remember. Yep. And I'm an authority on those. I know. I know you are. You've them. been in a couple, right? I, I used to like to start the tournament early. Hyatt buries a three outside. What an improved shooter. Jeremy's got five. And the lead cut down to seven. And now Fuller matched up with Parks. Collins leaves it down low or tried to for Capel. And a little miscommunication there. Duke with its second turnover. Pretty good confidence in this state team right now. Creeping back in, no panic, good solid D, jammed up the center spot. If they score this trip, but they're not gonna. Great play. Possession Blinding. arrow, they'll keep the ball. Anytime they put it down the floor, they become jockeys. <laughs> Duke over the years, great at going down and stripping. I mean, this is almost like a light going on. Get down and help out. You help your center a great deal. Good quick kick out, might get an open jumper. Glenn Harrison checks in for NC State, and he'll trigger it from the baseline. Good ball reversal. Benjamin thought about a three. Instead, Davis will take it. That's two good looks he's had. And he and Cable battling for the rebound last touch by Davis. It'll be Duke ball. Benjamin out of the gate this year. Brad, you've done a lot of games down here. Great start. Career high 29 points in a game earlier this year. Then he kind of tailed off. That's what freshmen do many times, especially in a league like this, is yeah. they start strong sometimes and then find out that even when you're playing tough not conference games, the UCLA's and the Kansas, those types of things, when you get in your own conference, they start banging you around. Well, you gotta change the pitches a little here, uh -huh. right? Start to deuce. Moving around on the plate. And there's that scrape down. It's pretty good defense. Mm. And a foul will be on Harrison. Both clubs doing a pretty good job. Anytime the ball goes down, CC digging and scratching and gets tagged for one. Langdon around a pick. He's got six. I love their freshmen, don't you? Mm -hmm. and imagine what they're going to be like next year. Good, solid performers, perimeter players, and the loose style that Mike has where they can use their skills, they can adapt to. Benjamin trying to slice inside, and Langdon draws a charge. That great reaction. I thought he was late, though. Great reaction. I mean, that's what you pray and beg for and offered it up, and he came a long way to get there, and a little bit of a bang-banger. Both coaches would want that one. Terrific anticipation. The freshman from Anchorage anchored himself in the paint just in time. 18 to nine with 12 and a half to go first half. A little high pick and roll, and the Chief can slip. Forget Temple and UMass to follow us tonight. We've got a full day of action. Woo! Fuller with a block. Meek goes back up, and he had it stuck. Great interior defense. Marcus Wilson got the second one. And Wilson fouled by Parks and Root. And Cherokee picks up a couple in the last minute or so. A little uh, step down, and the Chief had it sealed off, but defensively, and it's forgotten with Fuller. His reaction on the baseline. Terrific. Position and read, let the ball released. Both clubs teed it up low. 18 9, Blue Devils. What is this? This is totally cool. Oh, 
For years, people have done their thinking on the run. Now, they can do their business on the run, thanks to the breakthrough that fits in your pocket. Zorus, the personal digital assistant from Sharp that gives you the freedom to write it, type it, sign it, and fax it anytime, anywhere. Last year, over a million and a half cars ended up just like this one. The thing is, the thieves who stole those cars robbed everybody who pays car insurance premiums. That's why State Farm works with car makers to make new cars harder to steal. And why we work with the police to recover cars that are stolen. Because when a thief steals any car, he steals from all of us. Big East playing game of the Garden, Pitt and St. John's has been nip and tuck throughout. Rowan Barrett gets it to Charles Menlet who misses the first shot. The perseverance pays off. He draws the foul. Right now, late in the first half, Johnny's by two over the Panthers. Back to Brad and Rapp. All right, Chris, thanks. 18 to 9 here. Exactly 12 minutes left first half. Duke jumped out, if you missed it, to an 11-0 lead to start the game. And NC State not panicking at all. Fought their way back down. Got it down to 7. Had a chance to cut it to 5 and have not been able to. Now, Brad, you've been down here. How about the centers in this conference? Oh, man. Sheed Wallace, Joe Smith, Timmy Duncan. Fuller more of a throwback type of guy as far as his back to the basket and being immovable, it seems, inside. And you and he went to the same barber. <laughs> By the way, that last foul on Duke was called on Price, not on Cherokee Parks. So I want to clear that up because Parks now does not have two fouls. Yeah, that can make a big difference somewhere down the line. Duke ball out of bounds. Yeah, Cherokee does a lot of things for this team. Playing way out the floor against a smaller, quicker guy. Almost came up with that rebound clean. Duke, after their quick run, Rat, uh, only had one basket in the last four and a half minutes, so a little bit of a dry spell here. Run your stuff. I'm sure Pete got that set. Go low as they lock Cherokee. There's that high low that they run beautifully, and he was begging. Nobody looked. There they got go. it that time. Pretty pass. Gives it right back to Meek, and Meek missed in close. Woo. Great looking sequence. Collar kicks out to Davis. He's going to drive. Man, have to pull up. Price cut him off. That's a terrific way of getting a three point shot, though. Drive the lane and kick back. Fuller with a left hand, a little bit short. Yeah, he's got to get it up a little bit higher. I think I'd favor him going to the center with that left hand. He does not come back to his right side. Price had it stripped on the drive, but Parks will pick it up. Meek with a stick back with the left hand. He didn't miss that time. <laughs> Gives you everything, though. And every tape I've looked at, I mean, he is exhausted after the ball game. Sucks it up. Fuller with a three. Parks with his fifth board. 20 to 9, Duke almost to the midway point of the first half. One of my notes, Fuller 0 for 6 now from 3. Not maybe, maybe he shouldn't be taking yeah, those. Yeah, I think he ought to get a little bit closer. <laughs> it's his team, though. He's been hard to argue with the last few games. Big, strong guy in the lane there. Meek beats him on that duck in. Davis hooks it out. Steps it, rattled and rolled. Third NC State turnover. Les Robinson, 12 and 14 overall, 4 and 12 in conference play. Played 11 top 25 teams this year. Joshua Benjamin checks back in for the pack. Part of their future. He leads ACC rookies in scoring and assists and made the ACC freshman team. Benjamin and McCullough, they have to penetrate a little bit and find some people, I think, because they're doing a good job in low on Fuller. Lang 
it. He's had a nice start. Fuller off the miss. Wallace on Benjamin. Challenging the shots, though. Corner, that's what they need to have start working for. Them. Daniels with that thumb problem, not shooting as well as he did earlier in the year. A couple of threes against Duke in their last encounter, though. Maybe he likes those blue shirts. I think so. Capel. Whoa. How do you do? Eight for Capel. First two came from long range. That one on a little double pump, dipsy do. And it's 22 12, Duke by 10. And Mika at the blow gives Parks a chance to tee up where he's very comfortable down low. Benjamin trying to work out Cape. Fuller. He came back. With a right hand on the other side. And Langdon pulls off the miss. Cable goes right by oh, Benjamin. The he goes with a left hand. Good looking move. Didn't pay it off. He's got some array of shots, doesn't he? Benjamin buries a three. 45th triple of the year. Joshua Benjamin. And it's down to seven again. Well, that left hander, but doesn't go in. The coach's not very happy with that release. Eight minute mark, first half for the Greensboro Coliseum, the Chief on a fadeaway. Eight for Cherokee Parks, uh, excuse me. That's his first basket. Meek has the other six inside. Daniel short that time. He takes some quick shots, a little bit of a takedown as Price rolls over. It's the old one leg takedown. You get two points for that. No, you get a foul for that. Well, Steve with the quick shot, you think it might ignite Duke for some fast break opportunities. Price picks up his second foul. Ricky hobbling a little bit. Duke isn't, though. They lead by nine. A lot of men don't believe that you can still get a great suit for under $200. Although the men's warehouse is not a store where you can get a cheap suit cheap, we are very excited about our $200 suit. We offer for $199 a 100% wool suit, and we believe it's the best value in clothing you can get today. I guarantee it. Nine stores in Atlanta. Call 1-800-776-SUIT. Pay-per-view is the fastest, easiest way to see Hollywood's top movies in your own home. This week, look for Arnold Schwarzenegger in a story of international intrigue and domestic chaos in True Lies. It's my husband. That modern Stone Age family is back in all their prehistoric finery in The Flintstones. Did you think I would know? And Alec Baldwin stars as the infamous nemesis of evil in The Shadow. Stay home. Pay-per-view delivers to the prom. There she was, adoring you, ignoring him, and you blew it. She went on to fame and fortune, and you, well, you know where you are. Don't blow it again. Huge things are happening right now, like March on ESPN2. You'll get the SEC Championship this Sunday at 1, and every Tuesday through Saturday, NHL Tonight at 11.30. This time, get what you want. ESPN2 in March. Contact your cable operator and demand ESPN2, or end up sad and alone. Southwest Conference, Texas Tech trying to impress the committee, playing SMU, the missed free throw by Jason Sasser, but there comes Tony Batie, the freshman, the little brother of Derek with the dunk, a 23-point Texas Tech lead. The Johnnies lead the Panthers by a four. They lost him with the Garden earlier this year. We'll keep you updated. Brad? All right, Chris, nine-point Duke lead with 7.47 left in the first half from the Greensboro Coliseum, the newly renovated Greensboro Coliseum. Pete Gaudet. Acting head man of the Duke Blue Devils, whose teams run out to an impressive opening. The game, though, Rap, we're talking during the break, has, uh, as you said, flattened out a little bit. Sure has. Maybe some better defensive stops. And uh, you mentioned Pete, the thought of how he has managed to keep the spirits up for this team. And everybody around the program said the attitude of the players has been exceptional. That's what happens when you get great recruits who are good people. Benjamin a little strong and meet the rebound. to wait for help. Oh, Meek really cleared out well. So that's the thing, too, when you're struggling. You don't time the cut or the duck in with the pass. Langdon's been hot early, a little bit short, but Wallace with a follow. Very active with 
without the basketball. It's about four minutes a game, and they're reaching. They get Mojo, I believe, on a little bit of a trail. Nickel Dimer. That'll be his first. Parks and Cagle will check back in, and Wallace and Langan will sit. A pretty good response for Wallace. It looks like Ricky Price is okay. He went out of the game, uh, the leg buckled, and a little bit of a struggle. But it looks like he's trying to catch the coach's eye to get back in. He got tangled up with Fuller right before the break. And limped off a little bit. Hyatt posted up against Wojciechowski, who holds his ground, but then falls down, and Hyatt missed the shot anyway. Benjamin got the rebound in the tall traffic. Wojo will offer it all up, won't he? Mm -hmm. and a little bit of a mismatch, but high and two, size-wise. Three-pointer came out halfway down and it comes out from Benjamin. Anybody's rebound, and Parks wanted it more than others. He's got a half dozen of them already. Now that little post pass, defense was baseline size, should have been to the middle of the floor. Les Robinson's club beat number one North Carolina this year in early January. For him and, his program. and they swept Duke, so I mean, you know, not a bad year. What a get back by Hyatt. And most, he would have charged if he could. Most seasons they would take that, wouldn't and, they? they yeah, sweep Duke a, and beat Carolina once? That's how deep this league is. Yeah, that's right. They're in the 8-9 game. They're a terrific basketball mm -hmm. team. It's just so top heavy. Extraordinary. And you beat those programs. You've got to feel you're going to have yourself an NCAA year. Field goal shooting Duke over 50, which is a good sign for them. And NC State struggling, and still they're in the ball game, though they trail by 11. Good denial. Was the turnover? That they did. Vintage Blue Devil defense. And the anguish. Of course, he's had his problem. A couple of kids. Well, Abernathy transferred to Villanova. I think they're expecting a lot of deep problems. Marshall and other guys, so all of a sudden you're not as deep and that impacts on your program. Duke works it around the perimeter. Wojciechowski trying to dish to Parks. He got it to him. They have to come back outside and they throw it away as Collins couldn't handle it. But they got in and did some good things and didn't finish it. Got that ball moving almost too fast. Yeah, a little bit of a kick out that was high, but Wojo right in the middle. Maybe he should have taken it himself as the defense flattened out on Parks. NC State with Benjamin, Hyatt, McCuller, Davis, and Fuller. Wojo's the kind of guy, if you went to the park and he picked you up, he'd say, come on, guard somebody <laughs> else, will you? The Woody Harrelson of college basketball. <laughs> no, he can play. Yeah, I know he can. Maybe he can't act. Ten on the shot clock. Good containment on McCuller. High it for three. Benjamin trying to go up and tip that in, and Meek got him with the bottom. They forgot just a little detail for the body. The guard doesn't get in there to finish off. You gotta like the number of things this kid can do. And you say, gosh, but they don't check out on the guard like that. Force the opponent to take a tough shot, and you gotta complete the sequence. Certainly gonna be considered for the ACC Rookie of the Year. Matt Harpering of Georgia Tech maybe has a, a claim, and there are others, but those are two of the best. Well, you gotta think of Clemson, Greg Buckner, too, yep. right? Oh, did he nice get entry. Deep? Sure was. He works. Great look. Meek with a little bit of a gamble and paid for it. Fuller's got four. Nice look by Davis, too. But he goes box to box with the big guy. He's active, works hard. He gets some good angles to dump it down. And not a bad target, I might add. Just a big one to hit. Meek gave up a 15-footer. Drew a foul. Tough 
need to roll the quarters to get around Todd Fuller. <laughs> get the roadmap out as well. The gamble, it, 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 you just can't recover on him in that three second lead. That's the toughest place to guard somebody. And Davis with a great look and maybe uh, the 15 footer, which he can make, would have been the option. But you get to the line, you can't complain. Huge right. penetration by the big guy. Drew the foul off Fuller, so Meek will step up. Eric, 6'10", senior. Out of Escondido, California. Those are his numbers on the season. Very impressive season. A year in which there was some thought that he might redshirt. And I remember talking to Mike early in the year before the Michigan game, and he said he graded out in practice one, two, or three every day. Yeah. And that they just hard to argue with that. Yeah. yeah. Might as well use them. He's had a sensational year. And you remember that leg problem, if you recall, mm -hmm. a freshman, an accident. Miraculous recovery. 28-17, and we're under five minutes, first half. And Price back, a nice side for Duke. Fuller wheels and takes it and got it. When in doubt, little reverse pivot, knockdown. He's a plugger. He'll be in the Tavern League in another like 15 years, <laughs> playing the That's NBA right. for Zed. Have a little front porch. Price with a walk before the move. Fifth Duke turnover. We find out on Sunday who's going to the big show for the women. First, the selection show, 1230, presented by State Farm. And then at 6 on Sunday night, the men's selection show, Sports Center Special. So you'll find out where your favorite team is heading for the tournament on ESPN. A nice shot defensively on that pick and roll by Fuller. Fuller again. Now he's starting to get it in gear again. But he gets down. That's a nice little deployment by Les Robinson. If it doesn't work with initial pass, lock your guy low. Again, State cuts it to seven, and that one swatted out of there by Wilson. Benjamin trying to get it to Hyatt. Last touch, they're going to say by Langdon. Oh, what a presentation. Return to center. Marcus has swatted a couple away. It's a seven-point Duke lead. My, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear. And what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Real red, real smooth, red wolf. My, what big teeth you have. What are they for? Oh, my. Follow your instincts. You started putting money away from my college when I was little, right? Smartest thing I ever did. I guess I gotta start thinking about stuff like that. Talk to my guy, Ben Weber. He got you through college. Broker? Do I want to be in stocks right now? I thought the same thing when I started saving for you. Buddy, show me if I was looking long term, and the only place to be is in the market. And he'll know that's what I'm looking for. He'll know. Because he'll ask. Red Bean Go to your Honda dealer for Red Honda Days. Got it? Take a demo ride. Get 9.9 APR and zero down financing. Trade in that old helmet of yours. Pick up a free T-shirt with $5 purchase and see what's hot for 95 So get going, because after April 30th, red means stop. SEC opening round game at the Georgia Dome. Alabama getting the defense from Terrence Bethel, who takes it coast to coast. Right now in the first half, the Tide are rolling up by 7, 7-10 to play. Brad? About 28,000 will pack that place in Atlanta this weekend. 23,000 packing this place in Greensboro. Well, keep it out of here because Marcus Parkus, <laughs> great reaction as they collaborate here. I can understand Fuller. That's Bobby a, Jones was his coach. The Judge Ito block. Uh -oh. Motion denied. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you were doing today. No notes. Uh, under four minutes and State oh. trying to cut that lead down and they have to five. Pretty good goal by Davis. Nice soft delivery. 
closest state has been since Duke ran out to the 11-0 lead to start the game. And they're doing a great job on the dump down from Meade to Park. Look at the nylon side. Close all arms. Not that Parks isn't working for it, that's oh. for sure. Langdon. He's got eight. Freshman not in awe of the ACC tournament at all. You know whose body reminds me? Jason Kidd. Yeah, same same point. physique. Tough, solid. A baseball look at 6'5". Mm -hmm. Good-looking third baseman. Trying to double down on Fuller and does. And it helped a little bit. Parks pulls it off the backside. A little NBA hesitation by the big fella. Cherokee might have 10 rebounds by halftime the way he's going. Steal, though, by Benjamin off Capel. Takes it the distance. Missed the shot. And that's why you hustle back. Capel almost came up with that. They did not give up, and Parks kept working, too, and caused the easy. This is the one you wait for in the park all day long. Hang <laughs> down the other end, generally. But he's and then a tree limb gets in your way. I thought he was going to dunk it. He's trying to take the defense. And <laughs> yeah, there's a few of those out there. But he tried to go search a body instead of concentrating on the rim. Wolfpack again, a chance to get it down to a handful if they can score. There weren't any trees in my neighborhood. No, <laughs> it's just cement, right? Fuller missed off the glass and Capel with a rebound. Cement and graffiti. That's <laughs> up players. Price missed a three, and they're going to have a foul the inside on high. Yeah, he and Langdon were tied up. They're going to go the other way with it, huh? Yep, they give it to Langdon. Langdon. We'll get it squared away. And one and one now as they walk it the other way. Coming up at halftime, tourney buzzer beaters, the Big East and the SEC tournament highlights, and a lot more. Chris Fowler and Digger Phelps coming up in uh, about two minutes, 2.18 exactly. With Bill Raftery, Brad Nessler with you at the Greensboro Coliseum, where the tournament last held here in 88, but the building's been totally redone since then, and the 15th time the city has hosted this prestigious event, and the place is gorgeous, and the town is bonkers over the ACC. Only complaint, it does close a little early. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and look at this, over the years, Duke has been magnificent getting to the line. And That's, that's Wendell down this year, yeah. Collins worked for a three, didn't take it. Parks will. Well, that's the improvement in his game every year. Out a step further. That's why he's going to have a nice career. Talk about a guy that had three career threes coming into the season and just hit his 31st of this year alone. That is a nice combo when you get those rebounds, play tough inside, can still do what he just did. I don't know if they give this to, uh, yep. Chris Collins looking, complaining about it, but 37% uh, from three as well. And they run a little pick and stay, a little bit like Bill Lambeer. This was just a drip to the top and the knockdown by the Chief. And you've got to feel for him because of all the success they've experienced. And you're going into your senior year thinking, this is even going to be the best of all. And then the dilemma. And I think the juice of any program, particularly with a guy as talented as Mike Krzyzewski, nobody as, a, as capable as you may be, and Pete is, he's so well respected, can do the same thing. It's a different right. voice. And I heard Jerry Meyer say it's a different whistle. It's a different mm -hmm. tone. All those things impact on the push of players. And Keller got one of two. To make it an eight-point ball game. Price three. And gave it up nice and early. Lightning spotted him. Nobody identified. Duke right back by 11 now. On the other end, a two-pointer for Wilson. 36-27. And Langdon will slow it a little bit. Here's that little pick, and he can roll or stay. Nice look down low to Langdon, and Fuller cut him off at the pass. Terrific defensive reaction. State could use one here as we approach the one-minute mark. Daniels got the three. They can be explosive, can't they? Exactly what oh. they needed. With one minute left in the half, they cut it down to six. And set it up on the other end. They've really got involved with the ball gets into the lane, either with the pass or the dribble. Who is that deep? Collins way outside. Wallace off the glass. Oh! Wave it off. He thinks he's going to the foul line. Look. I think so. It just sets in. Turnaround. Now, right here, this is up 
for grabs. Let him play on. That's good basketball. If anything, Fuller was the lean in. And at that point, he still thinks he's going to the line. And you are right, Pete. This could be a five-point swing. Depending on what Fuller does at the free throw line on the other end. Well, whether they waved it off or not, that was one sweet looking move. Mm, it? it sure was. The kiss at the end. And... Oh. Fuller with nine. Swings in a game, and you think you're stretching the lead, and that's just good aggressive basketball. Just put the P in your pocket. <laughs> Fuller cans the two free throws on the other end, and indeed it is a four to five point swing, depending on how you look at it. If you were thinking Wallace would go to the line for a chance for a three point play, instead they wave it off, they go the other way for two, and now it's 36 32. That's the game clock in the corner of your screen. There's about a six second difference. Game clock and shot clock, the shot clock at 10. Want to run it right now. Get into it. Collins working for one himself, maybe. Missed the shot. Fuller clears it off. NC State will have the last shot before the break. Oh, a little hurried that one. A little quick. And both teams hurry their final attempts of the first half. A good first half it is. Duke runs out to the big lead early, but Les Robinson's Wolfpack fights their way back in. 36-32 at halftime as we send it back to the studio at Chris and Digger. Guys. All right, thank you, Brad. As a coach, Digger, you hate those calls near the end ball. of the half that could switch yeah, momentum. Yeah, momentum's going back right now to NC State, and the way Oshawa Benjamin's shooting the threes, hey, this game is not over, and Duke really had a bad situation at the end of that half. Wolfpack should be confident. They beat them twice during the regular season. Coming up on our halftime report, we'll focus, first of all, on the Big East and the SEC. The Big East tournament underway at the Garden. The SEC, all kinds of teams in limbo trying to fight their way in. That's coming up next. ESPN's presentation of Championship Week is brought to you by Payne Weber. We believe our most important investment is an investment in relationships. And by Canon, a world leader in office equipment. Chris, halftime with Duke leading the Wolfpack at North Carolina State, 36 to 32. We welcome you back to the Greensboro Coliseum, where we saw the Duke Blue Devils come storming out of the gate. Raft 11-0 run. As you said, though, you got to give NC State credit. They never panicked, and they worked their way back they, in. They played great defense, particularly in the low post. Marks only with four shots, but the key when you look at Duke, Langdon, who can shoot the three, able to penetrate. They've got to convert this or their dish. Uh, terrific performer, and then the other end will how can you contain the big fella meek does a nice job they pass in a great fashion to the low post begs with that hand and deliver it on the correct side Fuller with 10 been, mm -hmm, been magnificent nc state warmed it up a little bit they were woeful shooting to start with and duke has been over 50 percent the whole first half and ended up an even 50 second chance points nc state with the edge there the rebounding edge to duke and North Carolina State has won only one game all year when they trailed at halftime. You guessed it. Duke was the team they came from behind to beat. Here we go, second half. They try and get Parks right away. Les Robinson has to feel real good. He was relaxed as they got themselves, clawed themselves back into this game. Capel, short on a three, and Meek will keep it alive. Now Langdon, a triple for him. Way up there for the rebound. Comes Ricky Daniels. Duke's done a nice job forcing it to the middle. They're not giving up, or forcing, excuse me, to the baseline. And jamming up the middle as best they can. Daniels threw up sort of a brick as Parks came out to guard him and he adjusted his shot. So a chance to cut it down to one. Still a four-point Duke lead. They had Parks, they didn't get it to him. Capel, a runner off the glass. Fuller had a hand on it, but Meek picks up the loose ball and drew a foul. Well, he's an aggressive guy. It's not pretty all the time, but just that set. Duke was in such a hurry. Daniels was caught behind Parks. They never got him the basketball. But this is Meek who will humble you on occasion with his physical kind of performance and his desire and will to play hard. Eric, eight points in the first half, including a two-for-two two trip to the free-throw line. Short.
short arm that one a little bit. 57% free throw shooter on the season. There's his numbers. And a double double against North Carolina State, the second regular season game. 12 points and 10 rebounds. It appears headed in that very same direction here tonight. Duke by five. We're a minute in to the second half. When they relax and they're patient, they get the ball down to the box and they end up with a kick out shot state. There's the kick out. Yeah. And the shot I thought Daniels was going to take and he didn't. Pretty good reaction by the Chief. Makes you think twice about a three pointer when you see Cherokee Parks come running at you. But he's a little bit. Wow. Over Capel, though, Benjamin with some authority. His second triple of the night. Oh, that was under duress as well. Closest it's been since Duke opened the scoring. Two to nothing at the beginning. 37-35. Nice entry to Meek. Didn't get it with a left hand, and Fuller clears it off. Now Duke runs a screen across, and then Meek steps up to the ball, and that could be very helpful. State's never led. They won't with that shot either. Meek with his seventh board. I mean, they're in a little bit of a hurry, Duke, now. So they just run their little screens. They should be able to get something, particularly because of the size differential. With Meek and Parks in there, they're always going to have one guy bigger than what NC State can counter with. And the freshman, Trajan Langdon, with 10. That, that was a case of point. They were running the screen away, Trajan in a hurry. Even though it went down, let the play materialize. Gets it back to a four-point Blue Devil advantage. McCullough, he has been really non-existent offensively. Missed that jumper. He averages 12 points a game and has but one free throw so far. Parks again with a nice entry, and that time Meek couldn't handle it. Pull-up jumper won't go, and Ricky Price and Capel will bring it up together. A good balance by North Carolina State. Not a good look. Nope. Flat threw that one away. The leak out, nice and easy. Ash and Benjamin with a good read. Double figures for that freshman. Terrific anticipation, too. Sheeted the floor once he saw his teammate. I think we're going to have 16 minutes of frenzy left. It's a two-point game. Now it's a four-point game thanks to Capel, and he's a double figure. A little clear in the middle made famous by Earl Monroe a few years ago. <laughs> Top of the key to the goal. McCullough trying to get away from Langdon and can't. They are reacting to the threes. And Meek all alone down there doing a bang-up job on Todd Fuller. Right back into Fuller, and they get the push. Now, I've seen games with Jeremy Hyatt. He's great at doing a reset. A lot of young guys don't like that. If the big guy gives it back to Santa Heck, but I'm not going to shoot the shot <laughs> or put it on the floor. But Go right back in there. Yeah, let him do some damage. Meek picks up his second. We can get Todd Fuller a little place in one of those Grease Broadway shows with that hair, though, huh? The vintage Studebaker. The Fuller Brushman, huh? Davis, just inside the three-point line, makes it again a two-point game. Price, nice cut in the paint, and he got fouled. Now that had some definition, a little curl around the post screen. And it's amazing when you've got talent. You try and do a lot of things on your own. But you see Parks almost went out of bounds on that bump. And here's a guy, if you can help him a little, because he can do a lot on his own, he can be a dynamite offensive player. One of the most liked and respected right there. Boy, that's for sure. Popular guy. Of course, Crimmins and he are great pals, but Crimmins gets along with everybody. That's true. I think our Lord's going to him a free pass. <laughs> in his fifth year at NC State. Ricky Price in his first year at Duke. And Ricky was six points in the night. Second one came out. Fuller kept it alive for Davis. Nice job by Wojo taking the head off. Hosh Benjamin for the tie. Kept alive again. 
he was trying to look to Fuller, and Meek doing a nice job denying him. You're reading my mind there. I thought he worked hard. That's a shame. Yeah. You're really in trouble. Yeah, it is. You and I are on the same page. I'm scared. Tie game. Touch from deep. Delhi roll. Tied at 42. Time out. They're really not. Look how smart he is. They're not very intelligent, honey. They're dopey. Look at them. We have a dummy on our hood. Oh, where, where's he going? For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. And now, Valley of the Apes. <laughs> The all-new Lincoln Continental has an exclusive system that lets you change the way it handles. At the push of a button, you choose the ideal suspension and steering settings to more precisely handle whatever the road presents. An attribute for which the Ming Dynasty is eternally grateful. The all-new Lincoln Continental with the V8 Intec system, the perfect balance of luxury and technology. Accidents can happen anytime, and they happen that fast. Trouble is, if you drive after drinking, you can't react that fast. I've handled enough claims to know that designated drivers save lives. They drive and don't drink. Accidents happen, but drinking and driving, that's an accident waiting to happen. Be a good neighbor. Be a designated driver. At Big East Game of the Garden, some long-distance mail, as in Jason Mail. Tenth three-pointer for the Panthers, nip and tuck with the Johnnies, who just jumped ahead by a point. 66-65, we'll keep you posted, about five minutes to play. All right, the three-pointer, making a difference there. It's made a difference for NC State in this second half. My little Wolfpack fan is kind of wolfing it down, and he's probably liking what he sees of the second half shooting, especially of Benjamin and company, and it's a tie game at 42. Brad Nessler, Bill Raftery with you. First round action, the 42nd ACC tournament from the Greensboro Coliseum. And Les Robinson's guys have done a great job defensively. They're very active, and they've forced the rush by Duke. Daniels trying to stay with Parks, and that's a tough mm -hmm. task, and he picks up the foul. And not a bad use of the timeout, too. Might as well take away, take advantage of the size. And is it a little physical down there? I know you don't go down no way. and bang. You're a <laughs> perimeter guy. But the Chief gets knocked around back and forth. They finally get it to him. Langdon. And his foot stepped on as he followed through on that shot. Wallace keeps it alive. And they get the old small changer. Ricky gets his hands caught inside. That might even be a penny nickel instead of nickel dime. It's his second. <laughs> the Curry's basement as Les gets up big over there on the sideline. So we remain deadlocked at 42. There will be less finesse and more strength the latter stages of this half. A lot of grabbing and holding. 14.45 to go. Parks couldn't handle the pass from Ojo. Tenth Duke turnover. And State has never led, keep in mind, in this game. Now they do. And no support either. The idea was to keep it out of the middle. You've got to step up as Langdon trail wire to wire. Two-point North Carolina State lead. Can they beat Duke three times in one year? When's the last time a team said they could do that? Marks inside. Oh. Foul as he went to the rack. Everything but, huh? Looking post back, you know, he's not on the perimeter very much this start after that timeout. The last couple of minutes, beat going for the strength. And right here, that's the play that's very effective. If they dump it to the foul line, he'll shape up in the lane. If they put it in the wing, everything but as he attacks the 10. I got two. He's got a lot of strength. I mean, he looks like a wiry guy. Mm -hmm. Trimmed down the last few years. Not too much body fat. We certainly can relate. To the body fat part, yeah. <laughs> From a distance. Six points, nine boards. Make it seven for Cherokee Parks, a great free throw shooter. 
tied at 44. Wojciechowski came up with a steal, but Wojciechowski just stepped on the baseline. They extended the floor, maybe trying to get some energy into his team right now. Meek is told to stay back so they don't give up that home run look. A little full court pressure from the Blue Devils, but Benjamin into the front court in a hurry. Boy, he is quick, huh? Puts him up and down. Fuller, thank goodness, gave up that seven three-point attempt. Oh, he ran out of doors to knock <laughs> Nice cut across the paint, but Meek will pull off the miss. He's not pretty, is he? He's got eight rebounds, though. Uh, it's after it. Marks. Nice pass. To Meek on the offensive. And a foul will be down. The man on the deck is Davis. Davis. Yep. Nice reaction defensively. But that's where they're very effective. Finding one another. Such a small margin of our winning and losing in a conference like this. Jeremy High will check back in, and Benjamin will get a breather. They're going to need all of his energy down the stretch of this game. Well, what that means to me, too, Hyatt will get the ball inside the fuller. Very unselfish guy. Finds people. Eric Meek, double figures. And looks like, again, he's on his way to a double-double as he's had a yeoman's job on the boards. Eight rebounds to go with his ten points. And Duke right now has that statistic definitely in their favor with 13.39 to go. Fuller snatched that one. Oh, and Capel come up a little gimpy. They put Price right in. Harrison triple team that left floor wide open. Pretty read and also the slip. A heady play by Fuller. Great acknowledgement. First basket of the second half by Todd Fuller. A little stacked set there as they pop to the corners. Reach in there by Jeremy as he was beaten baseline and they were active so the defense couldn't identify. And a one and one comes into play for the final 13 minutes and 12 seconds for Duke. Uh, isn't that typical Duke though? Yep. Over the years. The winner of this one meets the top seed Wake Forest as for the first time ever the ACC ended in a four way tie at 12 and four Virginia one of those teams they'll play Tech at noon tomorrow North Carolina and Clemson tomorrow night along with Maryland and Florida State you'll see it all right here on ESPN. Jeff Capel, 6'5", sophomore, with 10 points, make it 11 on the night. What a basketball family, huh? Yeah. The head at a used to make a lot of his games, and now stepping up, huh? Head coach, NCAA. here at uh, Old Dominion now. It's a dozen for the kid. And it's a Duke one-point lead again. Jeff said he went to the semis, didn't get to the final. Look at that clear and good reaction by the chief lane. Davis, nice drive, but Price hit him on the way by. When you're forcing a guy baseline, you can't give him that direct angle to the basket. That's what Price did that time. Get a little bump to get him wired. Then your defense can help you or support on the baseline. Duke by a point. Fuller on the entry just didn't handle it well. And the Blue Devils come up with a steal. Cable take a three and get a three. Is he confident? That's his third of the night out there, Rap. And that's a tribute to letting them play. And that's the philosophy that Mike has enforced with this basketball program. He hit his first two three-pointers of the game, and that's his first one of this half. So a big outside shooting night by Jeff Capel has given Duke again a four-point lead and another steal. And the Devils on a run. Meek goes down hard, and Fuller there to pick him up. He was so fully extended he couldn't jam, but you need a little juice, get it in. It's Jeff Capel's hand. Whether it's going to the goal, an array in his arsenal, this is the little step back, knockdown shot. And the defense here, they work today on this step up, reinforce on the baseline. And not too many fast break opportunities at tournament time. And the giveaway, full stride, he really can't jam it. Didn't have full control of his body weight. Took David, our camera guy, with him. Look out. Hazard pay down there. Third foul on Fuller. Not the best seat in the house, is it? <laughs> Might be the best seat, but it's one of the more dangerous ones. 
You wake up counting your chicklets. <laughs> He's got the devil behind him, too. With the fork. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. Duke by four. They would love to put the fork in North Carolina State for the first time this year and inch on to the next round of the ACC tournament. The only way Duke goes to the big show this year, they know, is to have to put a run together here in Greensboro and win the whole shooting match. And while they are not favored to do so, you can talk to just about anybody and they'd all say, boy, I'd hate to have to play Duke and then have to play Duke and then maybe have to play Duke. Uh, they got some talent, just couldn't win those close ones, which traditionally they've been able to do. Good ball reversal in the dump down. That's Fuller cool. might have gotten away with a shove, but he drew the foul. It's and almost be on me. Excuse me, right? I'm sorry, Brad. They're pointing the ball with the box. Now Fuller, when I say pointing, his head is on the ball as they reverse it. Now, good defense by Meek. A little facial, a massage, and then the pass to the correct hand. They're terrific at it, which takes a lot of drilling and coaching. Here's the third best free throw shooter in the ACC. All 6'11", 260 pounds of him. He picked up the third foul with that last one. Fuller perfect from the line. Still 14 for Todd. Three-point game with 12 to go. Cape will run on the show. And uh, we'll sit down there on parks to do it just a little clear again. Cape First half, remember that one he gets. A uh, three point play they took away. Blue Devils lead it by five. Hyatt trying to cut it to two and does. Hang around that perimeter. The big guy just rolls box to box. Les Robinson said it was a three and it should have been a chance for four. He wants it all. <laughs> Parks wheels and deals. And he can deliver because the size difference. Wrist and elbow and plumb bottom. Pace picking up again. This first round ACC game. And oh. oh, I think that was good defense. And Meek's got four now. Mm. That could spell trouble for Pete on it. Boy, they jammed it up beautifully. I think this was just a turnover. This one on TV going, hey, what do you mean? <laughs> 11.04 left to play. The all-new Lincoln Continental is so technologically advanced, you control it with the press of a button. Equally as impressive is that with the press of a button, its exclusive 12-function memory profile system sets everything back to where it was. You're Lincoln. Thank you. My pleasure. The new Lincoln Continental with the 32-valve V8 Intex system. The perfect balance of luxury and technology. Our house was on Pickett Street, across from a liquor store and a pool hall. But it was also near a recreation center where Mr. Fenoy was a volunteer. I always knew I could run fast, but without Mr. Fanon, I would have never known I could run so far. Every kid deserves an opportunity to play, but not every kid has one. To learn how you can help, call 1-800-929-PLAY. What would Holiday Inn be like if business travelers could still get the same great service, but for less money? Actually, it would be just like Ramada. Genuine Jackie. Genuine. Genuine. Real quality. Genuine Real fit. No wonder Genuine. guys feel comfortable with Jackie. Genuine Genuine Jackie. Genuine. Closing seconds, Pittsburgh and St. John's. The Red Storm down by three. Some confusion on this sequence. Felipe Lopez decides he's going to take the three. Doesn't draw iron, but missed free throws by the Panthers. The Johnnies had the ball and a chance. We'll keep you posted. Tight one there, and likewise here. Four-point game. Duke jumped out 11 to nothing to start this game. North Carolina State cut it to four at intermission. They have actually led by two points on one occasion for Les Robinson here in the second half. 
And I think we're going to have a whale of a final 11 minutes or more. You think we ought to buckle up, huh? Yep, I think so. Langdon all over Hyatt on the baseline. Out of motion, back screen, and a nice block for the big guy. That's Fuller's shot, but he missed it, but Hyatt kept it alive again, doing the little things. He sure does. Wallace blocked Benjamin. Just ran out of real estate and ran right into number 34, and he'll bring it the other way. And, and what a break. kicked it out of bounds. What a break. Did you see that note on Hyatt? He visited schools on Sunday and Monday. He wanted to see kids. He wanted to see play. the academic and, and, normal and life. That's huh? the way he plays, too. Yeah. He understands. You mentioned the insights, the little things. He contributes. He was offered a football scholarship down in Athens to the University of Georgia. So he's a great athlete. Parks. Good luck, though. Size. Good opportunity. Lob. A little too deep. Goes back the other way. Wilson couldn't run that one down. Don't forget, championship week continues tomorrow on ESPN. Quarterfinals here in Greensboro at noon. Patriot League title game at 4.30. Then Rafton, I'll be right back here with more quarterfinal action in the Atlantic Coast Conference at 7 tomorrow night. Championship week. Hey, every game you want to see, you'll see it. Langdon, around a pick. Had a good look, but missed it. And now Parks underneath will draw a foul. Boy, he is feisty right now, looking for shots. They had, a, as you mentioned, just a dribble exchange for a wonderful look and stayed the last couple of trips. Now, here's the good luck. And look at the spin down low. Locked the guy. Just can't out grapple, but able to step to the line. And, Raph, that's four on Fuller, and that is horrible news if you're an NC State fan. Cherokee Parks can almost park him in the book when he steps to the free throw line. The family and the Duke supporters looking on for Cherokee Parks, who's three for three from the free throw line. Well, they've had a lot to cheer about in recent years. Have huh? they ever? Uh, this one tests your medal just a little bit, but the loyalty still exists. Double-double for the Chief, 11 and 10, and Fuller's got a set with four. And now Duke's got a six-point lead, and the big man for the Wolfpack having to sit out. On the, Ten minutes to play. And on the dribble now, Brad, too. Not much of a post-up game. They usually go box-to-box -box with Fuller. Capel with a steal. They try to go weak side with a pass, and Capel was in the way. You like that play, huh? Great reaction. And a technical on North Carolina State's bench. A less up, and his assistants have to grab hold. Brian Lane over there. And that comes at a tough time, without a doubt. 938, we'll check that one in the book. Got a technical call on Les Robinson. Duke had the ball, if there's any solace in that. that Parks. You're, you're giving it up. We'll get another look at the replay. There's less about two strides out trying to get the attention of Steve Gordon. Well, he got it. Not the kind of attention he was looking for, though. Parks missed the second, so it's not a lot of damage done so far, but we'll wait and see. 58 to 51, 9 38. Left in the ball game, first round action of the ACC tournament. Should go down low and get parked. Here's the back screen by Langdon, and they go right to him. Look at this. There it is with a reversal. Great release. Duke by nine. Let's check in with Chris Fowler. Chris. Guys, Pitt just converted two free throws. St. John's is down three, 94 feet away with 1.6 seconds to play. 95 Big East Conference tournament here at the Garden. Got to let it fly and get a three off. Scott, and let it rip in the air. And that'll do it. The Pitt Panthers have won a close game. And it was an important one here. The first game of the tournament here at Madison Square Garden. A 74-71 win. Pittsburgh plays St. UConn. St. John's, John's like Duke, the thought game. to be a dangerous low seed in their tournament. They are out, guys. Big win for Pitt. Right now, a big lead for Duke and a chance to add to it. Remember, Fuller on the bench with four personal fouls, and that lets guys like Cherokee Parks go to work, right? Well, a big guy that knows how to coach, and you can see the call right here, getting the big guy down, though, distinctly an advantage for Duke. 
and then they counter with a stacked set and a clear at the top. So if the guy can't take him, hit the wing, dump down. So right now, because of size and a little better flow and feel for the odds of offensive game, Duke's in control. Duke with some nice balance in their scoring. As Capel and Langdon and Meek and Parks are all in double figures and Price is working that way. Now you can't hold out the fuller too long. I know less maybe under eight would go with them. There's the free throw disparity again. And as we said, Duke over the years has always been brilliant in that category. And while not that way this season, they have been tonight. And they lead by 11. Mostly off the bounce. And this is where Duke, it can be awfully tough. Jamming up and helping one another. Jump stop and a drill for Harris. 25 left. Nine point Duke lead. Center run that you can save Fuller, I think. Capel. Left hand, no. Parks right hand, yes. Size tip. 16 for the Chief, 11 this half. He should never leave the three second area the rest of the game. Good cut. Harrison. Nice move inside. Parks into the rebound is 13th. And the senior says, I'm not quite done playing hoops yet. Stepping up big time and showing a lot of heart. Even there, poise gives it to the better shooter. Oh, Duke's got it rolling out. Timeout, North Carolina State. Biggest lead of the ball game for the Duke Blue Devils. The Miller Lite Ski Jump will be right back after these messages. Well, time to make a beer run. Whoa! I'll show you guys a beer run. Hit it! Oh. Next time you make a beer run, make it a Miller Lite. You just expect great things from the great taste of Miller Lite. Let's do that again! Grab a 12-pack and a pizza. Hit it! Are in. People are raving about Mandarin Garden. Mandarin Garden is the best Chinese cuisine in Gwinnett County. Your best restaurant value in Gwinnett is Mandarin Garden. And now, Mandarin Garden introduces their plentiful dinner buffet for only $7.99. Delight in the spectacular variety of Mandarin and Sichuan seafood dishes. Prepare fresh every day. Or enjoy full-service dining from their tempting array of specialties. Taste the freshness tonight at your best dining value, Mandarin Garden. Determined to succeed, to move to the next level, to transcend at all cost. It's time to step up. Now the real test begins. Many are called, but few are chosen. Championship Week on ESPN continues tomorrow, beginning with the ACC quarterfinals at noon and continuing at 7. Championship Week on ESPN. Every game counts. Number nine seats never won a first round ACC game, but they've got a 14 point lead right now with 742 left in the ball game. And this was just a very unselfish play. And Marks could knock him down, but why not? Pass off to Trojan, and this caused the timeout. And there they place Fuller back in the game. Got to go for it right yep, now. Yeah, that's right. Pull the plugs now. There is no tomorrow unless you win. Cherokee Parks fully aware of that with 16 points and 13 rebounds. A huge game by the senior. Benjamin twists in the air and got it to go. Well, there are kisses and then there are that type of release. <laughs> it's not Valentine's Day, but off the bounce. There are kisses and then there are real good nights. <laughs> and there are those, that's right. There are those people who want you to leave, too. Good little penetration. And this is with Fuller in, something that occasionally is jammed up in the three-second lane, but he came over from that left side. 15 for the freshman, 16 now for Oshawa Benjamin. And Bradley can extend the floor just a little bit. And good handlers on the perimeter. Seven and a half to play, 11-point Duke advantage. And now you can see the Wolfpack knows they have to pick up the intensity on the defensive end. And why not go with the Chiefs, huh? 
He's been the guy this half, especially. They'll good, pack it into it. Good dribble out by Capel. Capel tried to hook it back to him, and NC State did get the stop they were looking for. But it goes right back the other way as Collins steals it. They got numbers. Chris will pull up for three. Big shot, and it goes. The steal and into knockdown, but a nice get back. Collins picked a nice time for his first basket. Benjamin will try to answer. Got to get the big guy back in the game. Fuller not touching it. One work that deep yank hurts. And Fuller just a little tentative, I thought, trying to go for that rebound. He knows one more foul on either end, and he's on the bench for the rest of the night, and maybe the rest of the season. Well, all three guys can handle and penetrate and find people to hit knockdown shots. Price wide open. Good look. Didn't get it. Daniels on the other end tripped up and goes down hard as Wallace picks up his third. That's one of those toe dance, excuse me, I beg your pardon kind of fouls. <laughs> and just as so Eddie Bean back up there, one of the great guards at State, who's he's been coached there two different tenures, up chatting on the type of shot, how quick. Be patient, it's six, just be solid. Capel out and Langdon in. Guy with 15 goes out, a guy with 13 comes in, and Price will sit as Duke shuffles its lineup, trying to keep fresh bodies out there with 6-10 left in the ballgame. See the lead, and now they get the support late by Meek, and then the rotation down. That's Duke, good, solid basketball. Duke's had some huge steals in this half. Wojciechowski, three! Nope, just inside the line. Wojo shaking the head. He'll take it, yeah, whatever it is. Want. That's right, he's a little upset. Duke by 16. I don't think he's the Trojan Langdon stepping in just a little bit late. That'll be his second foul. Solid, and this has all been done in practice. The assist on the baseline, and then everybody from top slides down, zones up, tries to get in the passing lane, and that's his kind of game. Get down and dirty, get the band-aids ready when Wojo's out there. <laughs> he keeps the laundry working. It does. Benjamin was 17 at his first ACC tournament game. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. As you noted, great early start. A lot of people thought he might be rookie of the year. Close to the time of game where you might try and throw a few wrinkles. Maybe a trap here and there, if it shows. Here comes one. Good job. Daniels helps out. Collins dribbles through traffic. Parks from outside. The rebound comes off to Harris. That's one of those daggers if it goes down. Boy, would it ever have been. Daniels, now kept alive by himself. They say touched by Duke. Going to the two, the three, two quickly. Chris Collins had a couple of big rebounds, a huge three-pointer, and a steal here in the last couple minutes. When you drive baseline like that, that Duke, nice step in here by Harrison. Harrison to Benjamin. Send it in. Gosh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. 20. Set up by the D. He's stepping it up. You got to go long. Look over the top. Ojahowski, three on two. Duke Parks lays it up. Then drew a foul. Boy, that's confidence. If you know how to handle the pressure, you got a fast break if you go over the top. Good lean filling by the big guys and Wojo with a great decision. The denial on the wing. And that's why he's done so well and been recognized this year. Will he be the ACC freshman of the year? Well, he's in some pretty good company. Now, you see a lot. Give me your vote. Well, Corey Lewis, I've seen have a huge game against North Carolina in the regular season. Staples, great player for Coach Jones. Matt Harpering's been a starter virtually all year for Bobby Cremens. Buckner will see uh, the Clemson game tomorrow night. That's a good group. That, that group will win some games if you had them together as a fivesome. Nice to work with Dag Hammershaw. <laughs> uh, you'll be moving to Switzerland. Oh, you bet I will. I think it's Harpering or Buckner, though, from just tapes and feedback. Would you buy that? I have seen more of Harpering, and uh, he has been solid. Mm -hmm. 
their numbers are quite close too. So it's probably how they play in the tournament. Could be. Cherokee Parks has 17 points. Duke has a 13-point lead. We approach four and a half minutes. Brad Nessler, Bill Raftery with you. Greensboro Coliseum. The three-pointer won't go. Nice rebound underneath by Ricky Daniels. And that wasn't a long one. Uh, a little surprising that Meekor Parks weren't able to pick that up. Trying to double Capel. That leaves Langdon alone. Get out, get out, get out. Good poise. Smart to back it up, but Capel goes right back the other way, and Duke threw it away. In position for the tip. Didn't expect it. Don't forget Sunday. You can find out where your favorite team's going to go. Robin Roberts and Mimi Griffin will have the women's selection show at 1230, presented by State Farm. And then John Saunders, Sticker Phelps, and Dick Vitale at 6 for the men's selection process. And we'll have it all at ESPN, and you'll find out where your team is heading for the tournament. 2-3. McCuller. And it's the clock. Not a bad little wrinkle here by Pete and staff. McCullers. I'll get you some paint for that fence you've been sitting on while we go to practice. <laughs> I feel something back there. <laughs> Look, a MasterCard won't make you different or unique, okay? Actually, maybe it will. I mean, millions of people use MasterCard, but yours is meant for you and you alone. So if someone steals it, instead of worrying about people running around pretending to be you, call right away and cancel it. Because, after all, there's only one you. What's more, even if somebody does manage to charge stuff to you, you won't pay a cent. And we may even be able to get you a new card the next day. But just for you. Now, how's that for a useful card? MasterCard, it's more than a credit card. It's smart money. Funny thing about March Madness. As more teams drop out, more friends drop in. Fewer teams? More friends. Good thing Pizza Hut has the March Madness meal deal. Buy any large, regular price pizza, and we'll throw in a dozen free buffalo wings plus a free NCAA tournament guidebook. Because by the time only two teams are left, you're going to have a lot of friends. The March Madness meal deal. The all-new Lincoln Continental has an exclusive system that lets you change the way it handles. At the push of a button, you choose the ideal suspension and steering settings to more precisely handle whatever the road presents. An attribute for which the Ming Dynasty is eternally grateful. The all-new Lincoln Continental with the V8 Intech system. The perfect balance of luxury and technology. Duke Blue Devils by 11. We're under four minutes left in first round action of the ACC tournament. And the MasterCard storyline goes like this. The free throw line has been where Duke has really picked it up. Cherokee Parks has had a huge game, especially this half. 17 and 13 for the double-double. North Carolina State 7 to 25 on the three-pointers. They'll need more down the stretch. And Todd Fuller, great numbers. 14, 9, and 3. The problem for him, he got in foul trouble at about the 15-minute mark and had to sit out with his four personal and that has taken him really out of the game and our crack stats crew has won first only eight touches for fuller part of it's the foul problem but also late the game going, he'll be in and out he's back in now because of the pressing they need some speed so maybe offense defense substituting down the stretch a little half court trap they call the timeout yet yeah? right and they the did coach. timeout duke 343 left in the ball game now, an oil made just for your hard-working engine. 4x4 from Quaker State. Off-roading, extreme temperatures, towing and hauling. They all make your light truck or 4x4 work extra hard and could shorten its life. Why settle for a conventional car oil? Get 4x4 from Quaker State. Now, an independent test proved 4x4 superior to leading conventional car oils in protecting against deposits that can shorten engine life. Your right brain craves excitement, but your left brain nags to be practical. So get this hand on a ski Yamaha, and get this one on 8.9% APR, and zero down, right side, left side, great financing, plus 200 bucks worth of free accessories. Ah, but since this one appeals more to your emotional side, here's a reminder for your rational side. Everybody's happy. SEC at the Georgia Dome. Alabama is winning ugly, but they're winning. Terrence Bethel with the miss and Roy Rogers triggering things. Get it? Alabama by 10. Four minutes to play. Brad. Mike Bell, baby. 
Duke leads North Carolina State by 11 with 343 left in the ball game here in the ACC tournament. Remember, a nine seed has never won a play-in game, first-round game. Duke looking to change that. And Les Robinson going with the half-court trap, trying to rush Duke into some mistake or quick shot. Stack luck. If Duke survives this, they've got top-seeded Wake Forest tomorrow afternoon. Price is alone for three. Good not call to. Ricky took the dive. Daniels pulls down the miss, and State in desperate need now of some offense on the other end. They let Fuller get a look or penetrate. Daniels did get a penetration, got his own miss back. McCuller. He's been held totally in check. Great jump stop. Everything but. Parks, rebound 14. They came up with a smart move. Now bring past the timeline. Nothing there. He had to get out. Nice cut. Cherokee may end up with a 20 20 night. Fuller that rebound. He's in double figures on the boards now. Fuller begging. They just don't look down. Daniels outside, didn't get it, Meek did. And Meek's bumped by Davis. That's a four thorough, on Davis. Thorough job by Meek on that defensive trip. Don't forget, immediately following us, the Atlantic 10 Conference Championship. It'll be Temple and UMass from Mullen Center. Sean McDonough and Terry Gannon standing by. Those teams split this year, each winning at home. And the last time out, it was a one-point nail-biter. That follows us. Pretty impressive, though. This guy able to roll that running hook in and post up and let everybody else use their motion around them. But uh, Duke inside has been suffocating and forcing the issue. All the guards after the perimeter people are making decisions. Some of them aren't as good as Les would like. Eric Meek, five of nine from the free throw line. That's right about his average, huh? Yep, that, he's uh, not a great free throw shooter. Around that 57 mark. He's done a nice job tonight, though. He's going to get a breather as Wallace will take his spot. And Eric gets a nice hand from the Duke faithful behind their bench. Well, he's one of those guys, everybody works 9 to 5 can relate. You know, hit the subway, hit the bus. Yeah, he might even work a little overtime. Yeah, he sure does. Price got the block. Davis blocked it back to try to keep it alive. It'll be Duke ball. left and substitution coming in at the last second the horn will go and Daniels will come in and take fuller spot and again they'll try to go with that quickness mm -hmm. to see if they can pick up a steal here somewhere along the line April's got to hurry and he's got price on a post pattern price to park oh and that price is right Seventy six sixty two. Well, they by said, 14. They set that up beautifully Brad. Excuse me. Let's go, let's go. Off the glass is Benjamin. He's got twenty two and now Duke's got some people wide open and Langdon's going to wisely say let's use some clock instead. Smart move by the freshman not to press the issue with one forty left one forty five left. You never know to get on a run. I'm sure they vote him saying, oh, what do I have to look forward to? But pulling the string as Parks brings his guy up, Price does one of those little jab and go, and the Chief with a strong finish. Send it in, big fella. He's had some evening. Has he ever. And their record is from not, it, it, it's been from a lot of hard work. It's mm -hmm. not from lack of effort. parks in this country that haven't had this kind of night. <laughs> well, he'll be able to buy one of those <laughs> next year, and you'll be sell selling souvenirs. That's right. Hopefully I'll get a piece of it. <laughs> I'll be selling Yogi Bear figurines. <laughs> well, they've sent a few guys in recent years. Grand Hill, Bobby Hurley, and 
you know, if anything, you look at them, a lot of people say they don't have that forward who could control the game like a Leitner or a Hill. That might be part of it. I, I just think the difficulty of not having Michael around and the mental adjustment for young people. I mean, they chose to because of Mike. Right. And now you've got his staff, which he's very proud of, and they, they do a magnificent job. Amaker and Tommy Amaker and Mike Gray and the family looking on. Debbie, his mom, Cherokee's mom looking on as he gets another rebound. But the reaction's got to be different. It's like almost when you think of a substitute teacher. See, yes, that's right. You're going to get a day off. Mm -hmm. You might get some homework, but... Benjamin three-pointer whistle. Was that before the shot? And that's going to be a three free throw situation as Capel got him out of the three point attempt. Mm. Purdue and Minnesota battling. That Big Ten is topsy turvy, isn't it? How about Katie's job this year? Nobody expected it after Glenn Robinson left. <laughs> Alabama on Tennessee by 10. If Alabama wins that, then Georgia's got to stare down the Alabama sights. I don't know if that's great to get a first round by and then have to play Alabama or not. Hey, you'll be busy this weekend, huh? I'm heading back down to my hometown to see part of that tournament after I get a load of this one. Here's how it looks. Again, the brackets. What a sensational night for Oshawa Benjamin, the freshman from Concord, North Carolina. There again, it's Virginia and Georgia Tech first game tomorrow. Then it looks like Duke against Wake Forest, the top seed. Carolina, Clemson, and Maryland, Florida State tomorrow night. Oshawa Benjamin's got 26 points in his first ever ACC tournament game. Working on a career high. He's only three short of that right now. And now trying to force the issue. Just got to protect the backcourt. Hyatt able again. He's playing midway now. He can be a free safety and help on the first available guy, which is Wojo. Got Daniels to trying to lay off Parks, who's a great free throw shooter. And Wojciechowski is fouled by Benjamin. You know, they have backcourt guys, Duke, that can take the hit and not lose the ball. Strong. Protect the basketball. Don't give it up. Wojciechowski, not a bad guy to foul as far as free throw shooting percentage. Wojo about 54% on the year. Uh, Mike was telling me during the year, Wojo in high school used to do a morning workout, go to practice, and apparently they had a hill in the backyard. He used to do defensive slides. Think he needs help? Doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> he wore out the hill? I yeah. <laughs> step up. He's in his first ACC tournament, too. Out of Baltimore, the Maryland player of the year. Tough as nails. His old man was a lacrosse player in Maryland, and his chip off the old block here. Meek comes in. Wallace goes out. And what a contribution he's made. Sure has. He can't sing opera, I'm sure, but <laughs> was terrific. Mojo got them both. So he wasn't the greatest guy to foul. 79, 68, 11 point lead, just over a minute. And it looks like Duke's gonna live for another day. Davis trying to feed Fuller inside, and Wojciechowski goes flying out of bounds. Just about took a couple of photographers with him. How about Pete Rose in a basketball game? Right, that's right? good. Oh, does he get after him? Fuller off the entry, throws one up. Langa the rebound. They're just trying to stop the clock now. And Lightning goes down hard on the elbow. And Wojo coming into umpire, too. Foul on Daniels. And Duke, Mike Bray, Pete Gaudet, Tommy Amaker, and right down the list. Coming in 12 and 17. They have never had an 18 loss season. Their last in the conference for the first time since 77, and they're going on to the next round, and NC State is not. Unless they pull a miracle in the final 66 seconds of this game, which is not likely. And a little disappointing, I think, for Les, because he felt and his staff, they made strides this year and just weren't able to get it done late. Well, it's a cliche, I guess, rap, but to beat somebody three times in a year is not the easiest thing in the world to do. And they beat him twice in the regular season. It looks like the third time is going to be the charm for Duke. He wants Mojo to keep it, huh? gets a rebound and dribbles through some traffic. Under a minute. He dribbles parallel. <laughs> Here he goes. The dish to Meek with a left hand. And they wipe it out. And that will foul Eric out as well. He can smile, though, with his team up by 13 with 43 seconds left. Nice attitude with the officials, but uh, 
parallel dribbling to ecstasy by Wojo and in the dish. And Pete, who coaches the big men and has so well for so long at Duke, gives him a pat on the backside. He played a whale of a game. Fouls out with 42.7 left, but it isn't going to matter unless NC State starts hitting some bombs in a hurry. And Davis underneath. Daniel sticks it back in. All alone is Wallace. They won't take this one away. And Aria. Duke will go on to face the top seed in the tournament. I can bet you Dave Odom and Wake Forest is going, oh my goodness, what are we in for? And you get a little confidence going. You know they can get up in that defensive stance and take that of some of your things. Last year, the Final Four, just four points shy of a national title. This year, they've got to win a string just to get back to the dance. Well, they're one step closer to the floor. Cherokee Park's a huge night for the senior, and Duke wins it 83-70 to over North Carolina State to advance to the next round tomorrow. To Bill Raftery and our entire ESPN crew, Brad Nessler saying so long from Greensboro. Let's send it back to Chris Fowler. Chris.